Since the arrival of the Shopify checkout extensibility update, the previous conversion setup is not working. That's why we need to use a custom pixel supported data layer. Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom pixel supported data layer on your Shopify website. So without further delay, let's begin learning. First of all, we need a custom pixel supported data layer. I will attach this document on this video description box. First, we need to go to the online store, then themes then select the edit code and then go to the snippets and create a new snippets the snippets name will be the ultimate data layer and create a new snippets and then select this ultimate data layer you will get the custom data layer code here is the lots of code then select all copy and paste it here and then change with the, your google tag manager container id here is my google tag manager id copy the container id and uh, replace with container id and then save this now another work we need to do then i can go to the theme.liquid and edit this code here on theme.liquid copy this code render ultimate data layer and paste it here and then save this now exit this theme edit then go to settings and uh, select the custom events select the customer events and create a custom pixel and you can enter any name here and create at pixel then again go to the document file and then select the checkout web pixel and copy the code and paste it here and again the replace the gtm container id and select the shape and then select the connect and select the connect I've already connected another pixel and now visit your the online store and select any single product page then select the inspect then select the console you can see here is the view item is showing here here is our the event name is view item and if I select the e-commerce you can see here is the our items here is our the product name this is our product id here is our the product name here is our product price is 1.970 usd here is our product quantity id you can see here is everything is showing and if i select the add to cart before i will uh, enable this the google debugger view and I have already everything set up on the Google Tag Manager to G4 tags, triggers, and variables. If I show you, you can easily create this tags, triggers, and variable. If you need any help, you can uh, contact me via email or WhatsApp. I will edit my contact information in this video description box. And I have everything is created here. And now if I create the add to cart event, you can see here is the add to cart event is fired and if I select the checkout and if I enter my information to make a test purchase and also you can see here is the add shipping info event is fired. Also I will get the customer information from here. If I select the customer. You can see here is our the address, here is our email, first name, hash email, hash phone, and the uh, last name. Here is not showing phone because I have not entered my phone number there. So if I select the pay now, and you can see here is the purchase event is fired. If I select this event, there is our customer information is showing. Is our e commerce information here? Is our my currency? There is our items 
and you can see here is our shipping cost is zero here is my transaction id and here is value is 3.94 usd okay everything is uh, perfectly working if i go to the google analytics debug view i have already on the google analytics debug mode you can see here is a add to cart event is showing if i select the items everything is collecting from the website here is our value and other event it's it will take time don't worry and it will works if i show you you can see here is the view item event here is the PSB event and here is the, the our most important event is purchase event it's working fine here is our begin checkout event and add to cut event if i select the purchase I select the items here is the product information if i select the parameters you can see here is the value here is the transaction id and here is the currency usd everything is working perfectly this way we can fix this the deprecated issues with shopify store if you have any question or any query about this problem you can directly reach out via email or whatsapp i will edit my information to on this video description box that's it and thanks for watching this video